All right, your trivia for the week. Week three of trivia. You have, at five. this moment, five, five points. points. Five points. You got both questions right the first day. Second. Then you got last, the second day, you got half, points. half a point for one question. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you got any points for the second one. I got, so if it was... I gave you a hint yeah, for the first Yeah, because it's two points each question. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Okay, we're see if you can do better this week. Yeah. Um, we're back with more DC news. You mean questions? Uh, oh, whatever. DC news. We have a lot of that, too. We do. Oof. So, um, starting with this. And don't peek now. I'm not peeking. Peek. I can't see it from here. Don't it's, peek. It's literally a side angle. Okay. Um, the Joker <laughs> was first introduced in what comic issue? Oh. <sighs> Crap. I should know this one. I really know the Marvel one. I, now, I will... I will... I, I have a number in my head, but I cannot remember if that's Green Goblin's first appearance. I don't know if I should... I think if I give you the list of answers, I should probably cut off... Okay, I know it wasn't like... I know it was a bit of a later... I feel like it was in the 10s. Or was it Detective Comics at all? It wasn't Detective Comics. I didn't mean it like that. It, I know it was, it was... It was... Batman number... If I had to guess... See, I'm, I got two numbers in my head. One, I don't know if it's Green Goblin or if it's Joker. And both of them are like... I want to say Green Goblin was number 16. Batman number 13? Or no. <sighs> I how I turn in my geek card. I don't know. I didn't know this. You didn't know it. I mean, actually, I, 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 did. I, I, I knew I've it, but I would have had to be reminded of it. With this, yeah. is in the tens or twenties? Can you just give me that? But take away a point before you tell me. Are you, is, are, t are you counting tens as like, like ten through 10, 10, 19? 10, ten through nineteen? No. It so it's in the twenties. No, it's in neither. Yeah. I'm going to give you... I know it's not Batman number 15 one. 15 more seconds. I know it's not Batman number... Batman number seven? Is that your final guess? Yes. The correct answer was Batman number one. Are you kidding? Batman number one, it was him and Catwoman. Him and Catwoman. Okay, I thought it was later. I believe it was him and Catwoman. I might be wrong on the Catwoman part, but I know it's, it's, okay. it's Joker and Batman number one. So the other answers were Batman number one, Detective Comics number six, The Killing Joke number one, and Batman number five. Batman number five for I, what? I don't know. That was just all the other. Oh, ones. that was the okay. Yeah, no, nah, I really Batman number one. Batman I, I, it, it would seem obvious, but like I was like, I don't. I swear, I heard it wasn't Batman. Like you would think, like oh, this guy's main bad guy would be in Batman number one. Yeah, nineteen forty. That. Yeah, so that's Batman number one. All right. Uh, so yeah, no point. No point. It's rough out here. Yeah. Um, moving on to what I think might be an easier question, but also a harder question. Okay. How many characters in the DC Comics universe God. carry a name starting with the word Captain? Captain Boomerang. I will go ahead and tell you, and this is a free hint, you're welcome, it does not exceed 20. It doesn't exceed 20. <sighs> so going off what your How? knowledge... I, I, I got a question for you now. Do I have a list? Does it give you a list of who's It gives on? me some of them. <laughs> not all of them. What if some of them are the... Because, like, does Captain Marvel count? Yes. Captain Marvel That does count. count. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I only think of four. Think Flash villains. I'll go and tell you that. There's a few. Yeah. That's, that's mostly what's in my head. You got Captain Boomerang, Captain Cold, Captain Marvel, Captain... Is there one called like Captain Matrocity? No. Captain... I don't think so. I mean, if you need a rough... You can also... Can, you, you can guess a rough estimate, but that'll be your final guess. Yeah, is there... Is there, Let's say I'm, like, one off. Does it count or no? How, I'll give you a half point if you're one off. If I'm one off, okay. I know the picture, man. 
That's that's the Capcom character. <laughs> that's the Captain Commando. Am I hold on? That's Capcom. Uh, this is a hard question. <laughs> this is way harder than the issue. Uh, I'm gonna go with thirteen. Is that your final guess? Yes. The answer is fifteen. Oh, God dang! I had that. In my and head. I can't I give was... you a half point for that because you weren't one off. Oh god. Um, I mean, you had characters like uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Adam. That's it. Yeah, Captain thought... Cold, Captain Boomerang. Um, and this is their others. It doesn't give me a whole list, but see, I had I had those in my head. I mean, let's see for an example DC characters with the with the word gosh, Captain uh, Captain Metropolis. That's who I was thinking about. That's one Captain Universe. Cap. Uh, That's not it. Uh, um, hold on. That's going through. Not DC stuff. Um, well, I can't find... There's a guy just called Captain. Um, mm. They were 15. So. so it was 15. Okay. Yeah. So you get no points this week. Um, you got two weeks left. Is that even possible? Five, what? Four points a week? Four, four. 16. It's possible. No, no, it'd be eight. So it'd be eight. eight. Eight plus five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Is it ten? It's fifteen. Oh, yeah. it's over. <laughs> oh, but who says there won't be a, a um, bonus, a double Jeopardy round at the end? I'll get. I'll. <laughs> oh my god. god! I really thought, man. I I can't believe it's Batman number one. I should have I should have known that, but I always thought it was similar to like, oh, you think Green Goblin would be in like Spider Man number one yeah. or something? But no, it's some other guy. Which about I'm gonna give you that question. Oh gosh! <laughs> I just thought about it. Like, it's my turn to give you questions. I'm gonna do that one. Well, oh, this week on the Comic Book Burrito, we talk Agatha all along, Captain America: Brave New World, more Superman news, and Suicide Squad: Killer Justice League season two delayed. <laughs> All that and more this week on the comic book burrito. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the comic book burrito. I am your host, Darian. I'm your host, Landon. And today we got a plethora of stuff for you. We got Marvel, we got DC, and we got games. You name it, we got it. Let's talk, Landon. How have you been? We ate a lot today. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, a little drowsy. Um, I didn't like to take mess or anything. We we just got done filming our Deadpool pizza review, which was, by the way, go watch that. Uh, I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be out by this point, but oh uh, uh, no, couple uh, days. Couple I days. loved it though. It was probably one of the best things we've ever done on fun. here. Um, this well, and like the uh, the first Game Awards stream. For, yes, even though that was a disaster. That was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it was a something that I loved. State of play stream. So, you talk about something that had like our best reactions in it, but yet yeah, it just was a disaster. Was our reaction to the PlayStation showcase? I thought you were talking about the newest State of Play. Oh God, that was the way it was live for like two hours after with this nothing. That was <laughs> that was so embarrassing. I just took it off. Well, it was I kind of boring because it was just like oh, I heard. Uh, I think the Concord beta came out. I think it's like. It's exactly what you think. It I would heard be. that it was actually pretty fun. I heard it was decent, but it's like it's what you see is literally what you thought. It's fun to play, but yeah, I'm not gonna play it. I'm playing on. Um, Speaking of betas, um, I don't have this in the news this week, but Marvel Rivals soon. Hopefully, we signed up. Yeah, I signed so up. So we'll be checking our emails. Um, I think Miller posted. I can look later. Um, he posted the when we should be finding out. It, about is it like Concord, where if you got it's one, like over? Um, it. Well, I'm saying, is it like if you got a code, you could give it to a friend? Um, I think well. you have to earn a code through the game to give to a friend. I'm not sure, though. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we'll do it. If we, are we we're now the live stream? Are we? Yeah. We are? Okay. I, just, I know. <laughs> we can't talk yeah, we bad can't about it. We can't do the Suicide Squad because we were under NDA. But... We, we can't talk bad about it. Oh Well, I, I don't know for sure if they've changed that or not. I know they were talking about it. Um, I have to try. I, I do have to travel to. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm a little nervous about tomorrow. I got to drive. Four hours to uh, South Carolina. Uh, it's for a business thing, but I got company credit card, so I can go to Outback Steakhouse and order like there you go a thirty ounce ribeye. Oh my god! <laughs> With like five suds. I, can, I don't want to think about eating. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we're, we're honestly kind of tired. None of that is like really hard to do. It's just when you eat and you you know you got you hear you hear noises like this thing like the AC running and it's just like oh it's cool it's relaxing 
makes you makes you tired. I mean, it makes you relax. <laughs> Wait, it is, dude, I like I like. I like it when it's pit, silence. Silent? No, I like I like. And I just sit there. I sometimes when I like, uh, I go to the bathroom, like comb my hair, brush my teeth, whatever. And after it's like so early in the morning, so it's quiet. And I sit there for a minute. And I'm like, I. <laughs> I sleep weird. I I really do sleep weird. My fiance makes fun of me. And she thinks it's like the strangest thing ever, and I, I I agree it is strange. I can't go to sleep unless I have these three images in my head. Oh God! One is Hulk versus Wolverine, <laughs> Spider Man no, Four. <laughs> no, I I lay down and I pretend my bed's a Ferris wheel, and like <laughs> I guess it's kind of like you know rock a baby to sleep. I guess, but I have my eyes closed, and if you start getting like more tired, you feel like you feel like you're just going in circles or so. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Second one is I'm in like a cave and it's like freaking thunderstorming outside. I'm like sleeping in the cave and like watching it. <laughs> Third one's weird. Third is I'm in pitch black surrounding and I'm laying on a block of ice. It's strange. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. Um, I but, literally, when I was younger, and this is such a tangent. <laughs> or two, how each I used to sleeps. count sheep. <laughs> you would really count sheep? In my head, I'd be like, one. <laughs> I could I couldn't do and it. And if you do that, and I used to get to like fifty six, I'd be asleep. It's like it's like it works. Really, it's crazy. I think I'd just be too aggravated. Like yeah, you, you lose count. I, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. One three. <laughs> you know, you get to like forty nine or something. You're like one I two. two. <laughs> I back up. I I remember I I'd always like try that stuff when I was a kid because I in my when you're a kid you over exaggerate things in your head of what. It was like, oh, drink some more warm milk, man. You'll be passed out. Warm milk? Yeah, you ever heard that? Like, you have some warm milk? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, well, it's that. I remember it's not being that bad, but I remember I'd like microwave milk for like a minute, and I drink it. I'm like, oh, it's warm. I don't feel tired though. So, <laughs> um, but I remember I count sleep. I'd be so aggravated at me like not sleeping after I'd count to like 15. I'd be like, oh, this ain't working. <laughs> oh, but um, I mean, enough about me. I mean, unless you got anything else to say, how, how's your week been? Anything um, new? Pretty good. Just, just working. I want to stream. I want to too. I I, I I honestly could do it this week. I might actually, maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. I want. I I have a horror game I have to play. I have the urge to stream. I want to go back to one of my old streams I, I did. I just wish I had a. Uh, not to cut you off. I just oh, wish to have, like, I wish I had a PC that could, like stream, and I can just keep my capture card set up. I can't. I watch YouTube and streaming shows and movies on my PlayStation. And I can't do that when I have the capture card plugged in because I have to turn off um, HDCR or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, which won't let you stream videos really? or anything if you have it on. Mm. And so, and if I if I cut it off, I, then I have to go and unplug a bunch of stuff. So it's just like a lot of work. I don't like doing all that. Going back and forth. No. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, why yeah, I never a... played the first PSVR that much. It was just so much. If I couldn't leave it unplugged, uh, plugged up, then I have to go and plug it all up again. And I, I don't want to do I, There that. has to be a way. Because I'd love for us to stream VR games. I'll figure it out one day. I just don't have a space. I don't have space. I mean, I guess you can just do the broadcast. I mean, in here would be a great place for it. It's a great, great place. I just need to bring stuff over. I got it. If we get the Meta Quest 3, get Batman Arkham Shadow. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get that thing again one day. If I get my money right, I'm going to try to do it in that living room because there's so much space. A lot of space in there. And I'm going to see, because I got the PlayStation camera, and I wonder if I can, like, film me and, you know. You could. Um, I don't know. Um, I want to go back to doing Uncharted. I've been having the urge to play that recently. And I know I did like a, I did like two episodes. But yeah, I almost deleted. I think I may have did delete. I, I don't know if we private it. Did we delete or private? I don't remember. But um, I did. I deleted I only, my I, Batman I, Telltale thing. I did that. Did three episodes of it. Never finished it. Yeah, I'll like, go back to that eventually. I, yeah, I, I, just those games take forever to finish. They, they, they take a minute, and not to make like my grandma like just passed away like as soon as I was doing that, or like in the middle of that, I believe. And I was just like, oh, I don't feel like streaming nothing. You know, when you're you know you have a relative that passes or something, you're just like, oh man, I don't feel like really. You know, well, like I had to like, I had to do stuff important. Like you know, we had to do this and stuff. But like you had a legitimate reason. My reason is just like I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> Like I don't want to play. And then you're all like, I'm gonna delete these. Yeah. But I want <laughs> to stream. To There's so many games I want to stream. I just don't have the urge. But I'm gonna hopefully get there. I finished, I stopped the slide series. So I didn't want to get burnt out on that. Just yeah. nonstop streaming the same type well, of game. And have you? I guess you're in the middle of slide. I finished three? slide two. You finished that was what so I was gonna pause and then come back later with three and four. Three and four. hack pack. And Bentley's hack pack. <laughs> this is a little bonus episode. Yeah. Um, I I think I want to do the whole Uncharted series, but I'm just kind of. 
I'm waiting right now. I want to see when that MVC collection comes out. Because I'd love for... Um, is that this year? Do we know? It's this year. It is this year. We just don't know what. It didn't say like late. It just said 2024. What if they shadow drop it? I think they shadow drop it at the Game Awards. If they do that... Or know, Gamescom. they will be like... Oh, I, yeah. I know they're having... Uh, you can play it at... Um, I mean, Evo. Evo. I think it's like... Max is going to lose his mind. Yeah, you play MVC2... Um, X Men vs. Street Fighter, and I believe Marvel Superheroes. I could be wrong, or Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. I can't remember, but uh, I will. I definitely will be streaming that, and then like maybe the last. I'll probably do a game every day. I'll go through like the arcade mode, and then um, the last one, which will be Punisher. I might have you over. I mean, you play together. You be right. Nick Fury. I'll be Punisher. Vice versa. Um, but let's go on to the news, shall we? Or yeah, we've been on a like, huge rant. <laughs> well, it's been, you know. Um, but we got a lot of news, so let's get into that. We got two trailers to start off, two teasers. One, I wouldn't really necessarily count a teaser, but uh, that's just me. Start with the smaller of the two, I guess. Agatha All Along, we talked about um, that. I don't know if we talked about last week that it would be getting a trailer. We we, we talked about that we thought it would be at Comic Con. Yeah, because that made sense. It's around the corner, and, and we also yeah. said the same about Captain America. And plus the the new line photos, it's just like oh, okay, I guess they're going to hit this right now, but then big reveals at Comic Con. Yeah, but they dropped it. They actually dropped both these t- trailers this week, um, like two days. Away two, from yeah, it? yeah. Um, starting with Agatha. What were your thoughts going I, into I, this? I'll be honest, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I, I like. I don't get me wrong. I loved Wandavision. It's still my is favorite. It, is your thoughts going into it? This is my thoughts going into it. Okay. I, I was just, like, I, I, I wasn't. I, bombshell. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't care about an Agatha show. <laughs> you know, that's just not. I think that was the general consensus. That is, yeah, and it's one of those. Again, I was one of those people. Like, why do we need this? This is just pointless. Put money and at and focus onto something else. Yeah. You know, whether more focus and, and I, money towards a, a project that matters. I felt I felt the same way until I watched this because now I realize why this it has show, it has very much high potential. I've said I realize I now realize why this show needed to be made. Yes, because there's something they can do with this. Mm-hmm. I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, I loved Wandavision. Yeah. Agatha was a great character in the show, especially with also the reveal. And, and this everything. is a direct sequel to Wandavision, more than Multiverse of Madness. Really yes, was. yes, a big, a big direct sequel. And um, yes, yeah, so I, I watched the show today. I completely forgot about it. Okay, that's how much I cared. I didn't want to like watch it right away. Um, yeah, no, nah, it was good. Great trailer. I'm very, um, very intrigued now. Yeah, of where this can go. And I, I like what you told me. You're like, it gives like very like. It's like imagine, imagine Halloween Pocus. Town for more like adults. Yeah, and I'm more like, like Hocus Pocus almost. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know, did you ever watch? Um, we've probably heard of it. Have you seen it? Charmed, the show about witches. Uh, I believe so. If I can look up a picture of it, I'll know. It's um, it's an older one. There's also a newer one. I'll probably talk about the older one. Charmed. Yep, I know exactly. Yes. Yeah. It, uh, yes. That. Exactly what we're talking about. That feels the same. Very similar. It's like yes. a mix of all that. It's a Halloween horror. It's actually some horror stuff in there that's more horror like than like some Sam like, Raimi stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, dealing with demons. This is the first project we'll see Mephisto in. Mm-hmm. Um, which is it confirm us that one dude? Yeah. Okay. Such a Baron Cohen. It should yeah. be such a Baron Cohen. Um, my nose is itching. Sorry, I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the whole episode. And the spicy jalapenos on that <laughs> yeah. pizza, man. Um, <laughs> making your nose itch. But. So yeah, this show it's it's opening up. I th- I assumed it would, but like I didn't really like put much credit into it. So I thought it would just be like oh, a little fun witch show. But this is more diving into more of that darker supernatural side of the MCU, yeah. almost in a different way, but almost in the same vein as like Werewolf by Night did with some monsters. Mm-hmm. This show's got I de- love got by the Night. demons and it's got yeah. um, witches and coven's and stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see a bit of uh, so. I mean, in, in, in this show, obviously, it's it is setting up partially Young Avengers and the way that the boy that's in it is Wanda's son, Billy, yeah, Wiccan or whatever. Uh, yeah. Not the fast one, but the um, one that's magic. And I'm curious if in this show we get to find out what hap- what about her other son? Yeah, where's he at? Yeah, because it's just where it's just him at the moment. How are they? And how old? are they even real? <laughs> yeah, and how are they older too? Yeah, you know, if they, you know, I mean, he like he went from six to sixteen within 
What did WandaVision go? 2020? Yeah, and now there was that one universe, and I think this was a, this is a good theory. Um, there was that one universe, sorry, I know this, oh, um, where uh, there, in one universe we saw Multiverse of Madness, Wanda's kids were alive, they were real. Mm. Um, so what if oh. one of one of the like spirits of one of those kids or like the something the soul or whatever possessed another some dudes uh, like a kid in another universe or something and like became i don't know it's just i don't I, yeah but like, how how would he be like 16 17 years old because within... the guy was that old when they this oh he's saying he's saying the kid went into the soul of because him. there's a, there's something you got to do to cuz like they're not real in this universe so yeah. like how is it real <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm and Wanda's interested. dead, that, but for some reason the spell, Agatha's still under her spell, but Wanda's dead, which mm. shows you. Yeah, she's she not was dead. dead. The spell would have been broken. Um, and we remember, I don't know if you remember, the Witch's Road um, special presentation we're supposed to get. Mm. That was going to take place after Agatha. It was supposed to be our last special presentation we get. But then the news was that they folded it into the end of Agatha. And we hear a little bit about the Witch's Road. And this, from what we I remember, the sto- the news was that. Wanda is in the Witch's Road at the end of it, and she's stuck there in some sort of stasis. Yeah, she's the reason Agatha doesn't have her powers, but the Scarlet Witch that's in Wanda is trying to stop them from getting to her. And so you see at one point in the trailer, the, I guess what is the Witch's Road? And there's a tree with a bunch of hands that are like going around it. Those are Wanda's hands. You can yeah. tell because the fingertips are black, like she has in yeah. Multiverse of Madness, which was the same with the body that she found yes. in the beginning. Yes. Um. So this whole thing seems to be like. She's haunted by Wanda a little bit. She wants her powers back. The only way to get him is go to the Witch's Road, but that is... You're literally facing off against... That's right. Yeah. Um, and it's going to mess up. And everyone. that could be really good. And I'm I'm excited to see what... You know, if we see, like, monsters yeah. come out and, you know, get called back. Uh, I like some of the shots on the moon stuff. With them yes. on the, the brooms on the moon. That stuff. one shot with that one monster with, like, the red. Yeah. The <clears> demon. <throat> yeah. Yeah, excuse me. Holy crap. You're fine. Um... Overall, it was a pretty good trailer. It actually, it honestly surprised me in what I, I was it, not it, really... It has me intrigued, and that's what a trailer needs to do. September 18th, so. first two episodes. Um, right before Penguin. Yeah. Gosh, it's going to be a week. So, double double time. Um, thank God the boys will be over by then. Um, yeah. Next week, oh, unfortunately. But um, we'll talk about that later. Uh, good trailer. Good trailer. Good teaser. Good teaser. Teaser. Yeah, it's it's not, not a teaser. It's a two minute and a half, <laughs> two and a half minute trailer. But um, I don't it not a teaser. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited. What would you rate it a five? Uh, probably a three, three point five. I was gonna go with, I guess a three point five. That works. I'm, I'm, I'm interested more than I was. It, it has me intrigued, and I'm happy it did that. I, I, I do want to see more. Yeah, because we, I it, looked, I, it looked well made at least. Yeah, it looked well made. It looked, um, you it know, looked cheap. Yeah, it didn't look cheap. It didn't look like it was just a quick crash guy. It did. It really reminds me. Now that I say charm, if I can, like Hocus Pocus, it just really reminds if me. If I can really get a feel of like this story was important to tell and to help us into the future of the MCU. Then... I think it will be with Wanda. There's also the Darkhold still playing a story in this. And I think I don't think it is happening anymore, but the original like news was that, a rumor, was that Kang was going to be revealed to be the one that wrote the Darkhold. Mm-hmm. But I think that's been scrapped from what I heard. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Three point five is what I'll give it though. Uh, Three point five for the Agatha all along teaser. They finally finished changing the name. Um, next up, movie coming out February twenty twenty five. Captain America: Brave New World. Um, they dropped this just the other day. Mm. Um, I was at work when it dropped, and so I was distressed. I saw yeah, screenshots. I was, I was at work too. I saw yeah, Red I was, Hulk, and I was like, "No." <laughs> I was. I just so happened to be like in the break room at well, that moment. Um, th- this was kind of crazy. They were like, "Oh, it's coming out tomorrow." I'm like, "Oh, let's go." And I go, like, oh, "It's not out yet. It'll be out at noon. Not out. I'll be out at nighttime. Not out." And it was because of the um, president. Uh, yeah, conference that had, yeah, which I don't understand. Marvel had a delay because they always put out trailers on Thursdays or Tuesdays. Well, I'm like, why not do it in the morning then? You know, like I don't understand. Well, it's a that big day; they don't want to take attention away from the big political stuff. Cut America during a big political thing? That's like perfect. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's just like I think that was the main reason because they always drop trailers on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or Mondays and Thursdays. I can't remember. Um, whichever day the Agatha one came out, and then. Yeah. Thursday it would have been, but they had to drop it on Friday. Yeah. Um, 
This, uh, before I even get into it, this is a really well-made trailer. Very well-made. Thoughts, thoughts before going into it definitely were, what can you do with this? Yeah. What what, what can you do with it? And how do you not make it just a redo, redo of Falcon and Winter Soldier? Yeah. Sam's not in it, as far as we know. But Sam is in it. He's the main character. <laughs> not Sam, excuse me. I know, me. Bucky. Excuse me, Bucky. <laughs> I feel like he'll be mentioned. He will be mentioned. Cause it, I'm, cause, He's probably doing Thunderbolts. Because Thunderbolts comes out the year this comes out, right? Yeah. So we'll definitely see something with that, with Thunderbolts. Does that come out in May, I think? May, yeah. I'm, I don't know I don't know how to put it, but I was just like, all right. Because I didn't know, I was like, what do you do Captain America for besides, oh, it's just Sam this time, you know, and we'll just do a regular story. This seems very interesting of what, Hey, you talk about getting me hyped of like Harrison Ford as General Ross is awesome. Yeah, I didn't think he's I'd not like going to come back after this. I have a feeling. I feel like what's a, what's you, a real? Harrison Ford? You get him for one movie, and that's about it. Like, yeah, that's like, pretty much what you're going to yeah, get. I'm, yeah, I'm done. I love. <laughs> I'm done. I can't get over it. that interview. Ian and James, everybody saw him like they were like I don't know if they were done filming. They were just in the middle of filming, and he had like the torn pants. And he's like, oh, you're gonna be Red Hulk. He's just like, what's a Red Hulk? That was the um. That was the behind the scenes of this movie. Behind the scenes, okay. I didn't know if they like wrapped filming, and that was that was like behind the scenes of this movie. And they were talking about that. He's like, "What's a Red Hulk?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, he like turns to this guy. So she's like, oh. "Um, he's he very, definitely knew. He's very I think funny. he knew. He, no, no, he definitely knew. He he's really good at that. Because <laughs> I mean, he's he's been done. It's so before. it's so believable that he really doesn't know. <laughs> um, this but, surprised me in the way that. It looks more spy thriller. Like when they said that this is going to be like Winter Soldier, I can totally see that. I can in definitely this see the, sh- the shots, the way they're the politi- talking to each other. The tension but, was the felt political. T- yes, multiple times. Yeah, and like I love the part where I don't know what it was about this line, but like you know, Harrison Ford, General Ross comes up to you know Captain America, and he's just like you know I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but. I want to put Captain America back into. The, I want to make. I um, have another shot at making Captain America a military position or whatever. Yeah, and I'm just like, when uh, did they, did they try to do that before? I think, was that for the first one. That was with the first one. Well, he because he was really it was made for political advertising, yeah. rather than military. But then they kind of got him into military. But then he like did his own. He's like, I'm yeah. doing my own thing for a minute, which is interesting. And I like the line where they because I guess Harrison Ford can't grow a mustache, mm-hmm. and you know. Yeah. Ross normally has it, so they they have the line where he's like, uh, uh, "Take me a while to get used to the new look." And he was like, "They said either lose the mustache or lose the election." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> that's funny." Um, There's a <laughs> poor girl on mustache. He grew a full beard though. Well, maybe in his older age, he can't. I've never seen him with a mustache in his older age. I swear he grew like a whole beard with like a, like a like a not like a chin, but like a full beard in like a movie with like a dog or something. But I don't know if I'm... it could have been fake. Give him a fake mustache. Yeah, That's I'll true. Like, I, cook weird though. I don't care. Well, um, anyways, I like the line. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not picking if he has the mustache. So we get a few glimpses of Joaquin Torres, the new Falcon, who Falcon gave his wings to in the show. and all that. Um, we, We've talked about him. We actually saw pictures of him from the leaks and stuff. Yeah. Um, we saw in this trailer a really cool scene. All the scenes with his wings when he's like flying. Or something yeah, really he cuts the freaking... He's actually flying around the Celestial in that scene oh really um yeah the big thing that's in the background is the giant celestial so that we knew about that but um uh, he'll that's gonna be in it uh he cuts the ship that was cool uh, he's got the helmet on that we saw in some of the leaks which i'm wondering i guess maybe you gotta wear some kind of like protection around the celestial maybe it's like something it could like be poisonous yeah. air, toxic R- radiation air or off of yeah. it yeah um because the adamantium um, there's that, <clears throat> and then, sorry, I'm trying to like remember everything. This whole thing going on with Isaiah Bradley. Yeah, I don't know what that's. He's about. been mind controlled, brainwashed, Winter Soldier esque t- type thing. I don't know. What if it wasn't though? Well, no, and it was a few way. times in the trailer, and let me pull it up because I want to show you this. Um, because as soon as I, Isaiah, as soon as I, wait, is that the uh, like older man yeah. from? Um, from Winter Soldier, or or like yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Get the actual teaser. So this is more a teaser. It's shorter. It's different. Um, <clears throat> and not to get on that though. Um, also, new suit looks good in action. Mm-hmm. 
I like the. I think it looks good. Yeah, he's wearing multiple different suits. He's in got that. the one from the finale too. Yeah. Yeah, he was um, the white one there for a minute. I gotta find it because it happens in like a few split seconds. And it's really easy to miss. Um, there's some jets. People are hating on this shot. I don't know why. It, it was jets look kind of... They look like jets, I don't know. Well, they look, they look kind of very early render. They're not fully um, done yet. Let me... Hit play here. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, get some shots of... um, What's his name? Uh... No, uh, Gus Fring, John Gus, Carlos. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> um, playing some mystery character. Yeah, so Isaiah tries to assassinate the president. What well, looks like he shoots him. It looks like he like dies. Or you something. think he gets shot there, and that's when they have to infuse Hulk's blood into they him. They make him live because you can't like. You know, I don't know why, but I guess they just don't want the idea of like. Because somehow he becomes the Hulk. Because I, 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 I'm saying that's exactly what happens, and I wonder if Sam brings Isaiah there because yeah, that's that's Isaiah, Isaiah. Yeah. he just jumps out. Now I wonder if Sam brings Isaiah there, and I'm assuming everyone knows he's Captain America. Yeah. So you don't want to have the look of this guy brought this guy in here and he killed the president. <laughs> you know, this was the reshoot. This, you know, who that is the guy from Amazing Spider-Man. That would be <laughs> the, that would be the leader. Oh, God, that is. Yeah, you forgot that he's in this movie. I did forget. He he's is. the main villain. <laughs> he is the main villain. I keep thinking it's just um, Red Hulk, but it's not. He's the one, I'm guessing, has something to do with the way Isaiah is. The way he is. I want, something, he got pumped up with something because he's like, he, he now, punched that one guy, he flies. Yeah, and this isn't his only scene. I think he's in another scene as well. Oh, dude, I didn't even like, notice that. Yeah, I, I completely second. forgot he's he in actually, this. I think, is doing a voiceover in this as well. There's That was him again. Oh, like, well, he's like taking a picture? Yeah. Um, he's kind of watching. That's the reshoots, like we saw. Um, that's him. I can see the green. Yes. That's him again. He's like a hood. Oh, yeah. yeah he's there. Is that Colonel Sanders? Um, it's just a <laughs> Navy <laughs> SEAL. <laughs> oh. Bro, are you Colonel Sanders? <laughs> um, so he has a funeral oh. of some sort. There's this guy everyone's thinking is the Silver Samurai, which I don't know if it is or not. Could be. Um, See a funeral, we think it might be Jean Steve Rogers. They, they've been very quiet on if Steve Rogers is dead or not. Yeah. I uh, think, do you think we'll see him in this movie? Or you think no. it's just. Uh, he, he got a line, he's like, You're not Steve Rogers. The suit looks great. And he's like, You're right, I'm not. This is a cool shot. Something, I guarantee that's Red Hulk right there. Oh, or a bomb or something, but I think it's Red Hulk. Yeah, nothing more. Um, and so you get some, obviously you get the really cool shots with the wings. Uh, there's a lot of, um... Oh, it looks so good with the There's shot. a lot of blo uh, cherry blossoms around that. here. And I like, um, I love the look of that. There's our falcon, the other falcon, falcon right there. Um... Breaking the sound, man. Yeah, oh man. Um, and then we're gonna, at the end, you get the red Hulk throwing the shield down with the roar. That's monster Hulk. Yeah. He's big enough to be monster. He, he can kind of see You get the gray hair, yeah. Um, he throws the shield down. Um, it's so cool. Now, you think Red Hulk is strong enough to bend vibranium? He might he gets stronger he, he's doing as it in he the gets poster, angry. but it could just be for looks. Doesn't he get but... stronger as he gets angrier? He does. And that's and then, normal. yeah, it's possible. And in theaters, February 2025, we don't know when, but um, it's in February of next year. February 14th. Yeah, we do. I'm surprised. Valentine's Day. <laughs> I can't see it with you. Oh. That's when I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marvel St Marvel Studios <laughs> send us this movie, and we will go. <laughs> it's really good. Oh my god! You can see it the day before. <laughs> I I guess Thursday I could. night. Oh whoa! Like, Thursday that's night. That's crazy. It comes out literally when I get. Wait, married. Wait, are you like? I'm getting married on that day. That's crazy. So like Thursday night, dude's night out to see Captain America. <laughs> Gotta screw my wife. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, you can't see her before a wedding anyway. I don't know. Bad luck. That's, that's, is that our bachelor party? Captain America? <laughs> that's that's cr I almost like want to run and tell her that. Oh, man. We have to delay our wedding. <laughs> we thought about actually getting... Because it's a Friday. And we had the idea of maybe do, get having our wedding at the 15th, but getting like legally married on the 14th. You know, but... I don't know. We won't get married on Valentine's Day because that's our thing. Um, we gotta do it that weekend because Sunday you know night. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Neither we don't know if we're going to go to Universal or going on a cruise. We haven't yeah. decided which one we do yet. 
That's crazy. Because I, when I'm married, so there you go, <laughs> Landon. What happened February 14th? I saw Captain America. I got married. I got married. <laughs> and you know, I got married. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even like, um, realize that. That's crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like it, it could get delayed, though, so you never know. We but, could. Um, I hope we, not. We will see. <laughs> got a reason to get out of this, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's crazy. But yeah, uh, Captain America trailer, can I be honest? It's five. Uh, it's five. <laughs> it's a very good trailer. They yeah. like, even if the movie sucks, it was a really good trailer. It got, it got me. It didn't get to the level of like. Black Panther will come. It, it seems it got a lot of people excited because that teaser poster of Red Hulk squeezing the shield. Hi, yeah. More highest than, like thing. More than the Deadpool and Wolverine best friends poster that came yes. out. Which is wild. Which is crazy because, I mean, it's the first time seeing you in that suit and stuff. And all this was, and not to mention, Hulk 2003 did it better. <laughs> he didn't even, he wasn't holding anything. Yeah, but in that. He was doing that, man. <laughs> so, Hulk's hand Hulk, out, man. So was Kang in the Quantum Mania poster. He was sitting there like this. He was doing that, but that's not the same. Doctor Strange. It's like me grabbing you, got my seat. Mm. I love it. But yeah, five. That's a five. It's a, it's a five. Great no, trailer. trailer. I am pretty excited for the movie. I'm seated. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the married tra- and seated. Yeah, I'll be married and seated <laughs> with the with the ring in a church. I'll be wearing my Green Lantern ring. <laughs> Is it a Captain America? I'm a big fan. It's like it's uh, green Captain ring. America. No, um, but yeah. Speaking of Deadpool and Wolverine, we're going to get into the news here, starting with some early reviews of Deadpool and Wolverine. We do now officially know the final runtime of the movie is 2 hours and 7 minutes and 45 seconds. I got down to the second. And there's going to be one post credit scene. I assume it's a joke. Yeah, just a joke scene. Yeah. Um, let me pull up. I love the yeah. best. Uh, uh, I don't remember. What, did Deadpool 2 have a post credit? I know the first one did. Yeah. What was the second one? The um, second one had the time travel. Had was like, that post credit? Had like twelve post. Yeah, it was had like twelve post. That was part. Of, okay, I love the first one because it was like a reference to like Ferris Bueller. Yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, next one we're gonna have cable. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Um, but so there were Deadpool and Wolverine early reviews. I'm gonna talk about them. Um, here are, they are. Well, this person, everyone got to see the first 35 minutes in an early screening. That's not much for a two hour and seven minute movie. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more to. They say this The first 35 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine go hard on the self aware gags. It's violent, energetic, and super funny. I just hope it's given space to be a movie in the remaining 92. So good to see Hugh Jackman in that suit. Matthew McFadden equals MVP. He's the guy who plays um, the TVA agent or whatever who he. Is in the trailer a few times. Can't wait for the rest. Person says, I've never wanted to say you're not ready, but you really aren't ready. The excitement levels for Deadpool and Wolverine have gone just gone through the roof. The first 30 minutes prove that Wade and the Wolverine are cutting loose in the best way possible. Give me the whole film. Yesterday, I got to watch the first epic 35 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine. You are not ready for what's to come. Seeing and high-fiving uh, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman was unreal. I'm so ready to see the rest of this film. LFG. The 37 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine were incredible. The shift from Fox to Disney is a source of great humor, but it's also tonally seamless. This is Reynolds Deadpool still allowed to do his thing completely unfiltered. Jackman is feral, hilarious, brutal, perfect. Yeah. And I think that was a big worry. It's like, well, you know, this is IG- Disney. This is the Mickey, the, Ma- the House of Mouse now. IGN so. said that the journey to reclaiming the MCU's former glory starts here. Um, and that's just a few of them. There are so many others. I mean, I, re- I had some ones, I screenshotted one from a guy on Twitter, um, HZ Joe. I don't know if you know if he is, um, but he said this, he watched the first minute, 35 minutes, he said, No joke, I'm struggling to find any negatives. Despite the Fox merger, this feels like a straight-up continuation from Deadpool 2's story and tone-wise. Nothing has been toned back, all the comedy hit, and the action was beautiful. Saw lots of you had a problem with the color grading and trailers, but on screen it's so much better and the suits are absolutely gorgeous. The trailers haven't given much away at all. A majority of the footage you've seen happens in the first 30 minutes or so, and even then, a lot of that 30 minutes were things I didn't expect at all. They also showed us a snippet of things not in the trailer, and it looks insane. Begging you to stay away from spoilers for the next two weeks, because this movie might blow your mind. If the full movie's as good as the footage I saw, then this is easily going to be one of my favorite Marvel films, and definitely the best of the Deadpool trilogy. Yeah, a lot of guys... um, Piping us up, Joe. A lot lot of guys on Twitter were like, you know, who were kind of dogging on the movie the way it looked, and it's just like, this ain't gonna be good. They're like, turning, they're like, this is is something special we are, uh, we're gonna see here. 
I'm yeah. I don't know. I'm very excited. Less than two weeks. Yes, and I just I I wish it was like next week or something. It's just God. that's the worst feeling. <laughs> oh, I'm ready now. All right. Um, but yeah. So there is that. Let me pull this back up. Okay. Um, very excited for Deadpool. Kevin Feige says the X Men will debut in the MCU with Deadpool and Wolverine. He says July 26th is really when it all starts. So we'll get our first little glimpse into what mutants could be like maybe in the mcu starting Talk, with this movie <laughs> um something i don't know this is a hot take but something i'd like them to do after this considering deadpool can i don't know i'm assuming he can travel multiverses when with that thing i don't know maybe at the end of the movie or something but this is something i've always wanted ever since uh stan lee died is instead of stan lee cameos deadpool cameos we get deadpool cameos yeah and i mean it'd be He's doing like a bunch of like side quests, per like se, um, say, Mar- like a Marvel superheroes, just like like a Marvel, ex- exactly perfect. Like imagine the scene, like Captain America four, you see you know Sam fighting Red Hulk, and Deadpool like. <sighs> Do you want it to be like an obvious thing, like oh look Deadpool's there, or you want it to be like one of those blinking blinking you'll miss probably it, probably blinking you'll miss it thing. Yeah, like he's like. <laughs> He's just like walking down the street while like Red Hulk like throws the shield down or something. You, you see him like down there. Um, I think that'd be a good thing to do in turn because I think it's I think it'd be funny. I yeah. think it'd be you know cool and, and give us something to look forward to because that's that's something I've always missed. Um, ever since he died was like man, I wish we can. What's the cameo could be like in this one? You know. Yeah. Um, and also the social media embargo lifts on the twenty second at ten p.m. Eastern time. After the world premiere screening in New York, and the review embargo lifts July 23rd. I guess stay off Twitter for the, a few days. This is the one movie I really days. don't. The one movie I really don't want to be spoiled on. Yeah. Um, I want to go in and be, be hype. Yeah. Um, gosh, we're saying it's so late too. I'm gonna be asleep. I'm gonna fall asleep in this movie. And I can't. I, uh... Lord. Um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, let's get into some Spider-Man Noir news. Nicholas Cage's live-action Spider-Man Noir series has been renamed to Spider-Noir. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Less word. Maybe a few word do trick. I don't know. Um, the series will have eight episodes. Okay. Nicholas Cage said something about it. He said... I guess I'm doing it. He said it's more of a pop art mashup. Like a Lich- Lichtenstein painting with some sparkle to it. It's not really... It's, that's the most Nicholas Cage thing ever. It's not really uh, really people beating people up. Monsters are involved. You do have a villain called the monster. Yeah. Or codenamed, I guess. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. Lamorne Morris has been cast as Robbie Robertson in Spider-Noir. Um, I don't know. If you know a Spider-Man character named Robbie Robertson? Yeah. Who? <laughs> it's the guy from Beagle. From the bugle. Thanks for the help. I don't know. What's oh, that? well, yeah, he's just at the bugle. I mean, you know, he's nothing really. It's just like um, who's Jimmy Olsen? Oh, okay. It's just like he's not a photographer, but he he helps um with the headlines and stuff. Oh, sure. yeah. Okay. Um, according to Daniel RPK, Sandman will be appearing in the series. Uh, oh, Noir Sandman. Hold up, sorry. You remember Spider-Man Two when you're taking the photos for that one guy? He's like show show me the city or whatever. Yeah. That's it. Oh. That's it. That okay. Interesting. Was he in the games? He was in... Um, two? He was in Spy- Marvel Spider-Man 2. Not in the first one. Um, was he the one that you had to take those pictures for? Yeah, like the random ones in the city. Oh, okay. That's yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Um, gotcha. So, yeah. Sandman will appear. I don't know what a noir Sandman looks like. I don't remember Sam ever being mm. noir, but... But he'll be in it. I can see. Hold up. We also have the most confusing... Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they... um... Let me go ahead and read that. Yes. Nicolas Cage is cast as Ben Riley in the Spider-Noir series. He will retain the noir look, but instead of being named Peter Parker, his character will be called Ben Riley. This is from Daniel RPK. Why, though? I don't know. Uh, Apparently, yeah, Flint Marco is in the the noir comics. I don't remember that. Um, you know, it's a weird, a lot of weird decisions being made, like the title change. This could be good, but like, I don't, it's not bad, but like, there's no, there no reason to just change. unnecessary. I, mean, I feel like, I don't know what it is with Sony. I feel like they're just so nervous of calling something Spider-Man. 
And they could easily do This is do like it. having Batman and being like, oh, actually, we're going to name him... The Dark Knight. Thomas Wayne instead of Bruce Wayne. But he's still going to be the same character. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> no, exactly like that. Like, it's... You know... Or, we'll name... We have Batman, but we're but instead of being named Bruce Wayne, we're name him Dick Grayson. He's still going to be Grayson, Batman. Yeah, same guy. You know, you know, parents killed. You know, <laughs> same exact same story, but it's just... Like, why? Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> it's like, really, what are we doing? <laughs> Yeah. And like the title change is weird. Like just call it Spider Noir. You know, like Spider Noir. Spider Noir is not bad, but it's, it's just kind of like it's lame than what it was before. It's yeah. like why well, you can go back on that, but maybe they'll change it to <laughs> I think it's still better than Noir. Yeah, just Noir, <laughs> yes. Um, I was about to say I was like, what are they going to change it next? Just Noir? I'm like, wait, they already did that. <laughs> so they did Spider Man Noir. I'm like, all right, that's a good idea. And it's like, well, Spider Noir now. <laughs> really? <All right. laughs> Thanks, Sony. Thanks, Sony. But yeah. That would be the end of that piece of news. Moving on next. Matthew Chauncey, I think I got his name right um, when I wrote it down, is set to write X-Men 97 Season 3. Bo DeMeo's work has been revised and completed for Season 2, meaning it's been looked over, any adjustments were made, whatever. Um, so he still wrote Season 2. Season 2 is still going to be peak. Season 3. We'll see. Uh, this guy has written... Um, I mean, I'm really bad at this thing. Chauncey, what if? He wrote what if, specifically. Oh, he also worked on Miss Marvel. I forgot about that. He wrote a teleplay for it, which is different. Oh. And it was a script doctor for Love and Thunder, so he touched oh, on uh, the script a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> um, for what if... Oh, oops. Uh, he worked on 15 different episodes. Hey, the good ep- I know you told me how he did the Marvel Zombies one, and that's like... This is being very slow. Um... Oh, he must have did an episode of X-Men 97. Um, interesting. Well, no, that's a, that's the upcoming one. I uh, know. No, it was just released. 2024. Oh, okay. One episode. I'm trying to see what episode... Oh, he wrote... Or is this just the whole show? No, it shows like what he did. It's the whole show. It shows what he did. The story. He wrote all of season one. Um. Oh, oh he's a story editor in that. Never mind. Yeah, it was the writer. <laughs> um. He wrote the "What If T'Challa Became Star Lord," which is okay. He wrote "What If the World Lost Its Mightiest Heroes," the one where um, the Avengers died. Um. He wrote the zombies. He wrote "Killmonger Rescuing Tony." That was a good one. He wrote "What If Ultron Won." This is a good one. And that was it. And I think he's written some other stuff as well. Oh, season two is checked. He wrote, oh God. He wrote, what if the Abula joined the Nova Corps? That was a good one. He wrote, what if Peter Quill attacked Earth's Mightiest Heroes? That one had pacing issues, I remember. He wrote, what if Happy Hogan saved Christmas? This is a good one. Um, He wrote, what if Hella found the Tuning? That one was kind of boring. Yeah, that that one was boring. And then the finale, which was just like, what happened? Like, there was so much happening. Um, There's some good stuff in here. I just don't know if I want him handling. Such a, a really good thing. <laughs> Don't blow it, because if this guy blows it, he should be fired. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, talk about, like, something that got everyone talking. It's like, holy crap, this is, like, really good. Yeah. Season two is still going to be peak, hopefully. Mm. Um, but there's that. Marvel Studios is officially set to return to Hall H of San Diego Comic Con for an hour long panel this year. Normally, it's not that long. Mm. Um, but this one's going to be an hour long. And Alex from the Cosmic Circus came out and said something. He said, now it's going to be Saturday, July 27th at, this says 6 p.m. PT, so which would mean 9 for us. Yeah, 9. It's kind of later. I usually do I it thought like it was going to be in the morning. I usually do it around noon, I thought. Is it 6 in the morning or 6 at night? Night. Dang. Yeah, they usually do it around like noon. Which makes me wonder, we'll figure it out. Because I know we were talking about like maybe. Doing a live stream, yeah. being live with the news and yeah, people filming like stuff. Breaking it down as it comes out, some fun stuff. But um Just go through your Twitter. Yeah, that, literally that's, that's what the it whole would be. Stri- that'd be the whole stream. <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Um uh, Alex from the Cosmos Record said this about the tweet. We're filling out the final phases of the multiverse saga, and I promise nothing will be the same after this. Um R- rumor was more. that they're gonna show I mean they're showing everything. Apparently. And now they didn't show weird that they didn't wait for the Captain America. I think they show more Captain America stuff. Or a full they, I, I feel like they might show a clip. 
if since the trailer's out now, which that's what we thought would full be full Agatha trailer, maybe. Uh, I don't know about full Agatha trailer. That's too close. Mm. I'd say what? Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, is that blood all over him? Yeah. All right. We got had some uh, almost breaking news. It is breaking news, I guess. That would have been crazy. If that happened live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my God. Sorry. Moving on. Yeah, so... Um, geez. Every time I think about it... Oh, you're, you're about to cut this part out. Every time I think about that, I just saw that. You know, I thought of that one. I don't know if you've seen this comedian. I can't remember his name. Oh, I saw. I know. I Shane yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, Comic Con supposed to be crazy this year. Mm. We'll talk more next week about what our predictions will be. Um, it grazed his ear. Wow. Um. But um. Yeah. Wow. It's just like this. Sorry, I'm like. Um. Hour long. Hour long. And, which is what? Longest Comic Con panel maybe. for Marvel, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I normally don't think it goes that long. Um, but I'm interested to see what they officially bring out. Hopefully, some. Um, we will see the title for Spider Man, probably. Maybe. Blade. Blade. We're not doing Blade anymore. We're not doing Blade anymore. We're Hershey we'll said, we'll I am done with y'all's nonsense. Yeah. Okay, um, my dad just called me. <laughs> He's probably going to talk about that. Oh, gosh. Um, Michael Waldron, according to Nexus Point News, is no longer set to write Avengers 5, Kang Dynasty. He's still set to write Secret Wars, but Kang Dynasty, he's not set to write. Michael Waldron being the writer of <laughs> Multiverse of... Dude, my phone's going off of yeah. that. Holy crap. Multiverse of Madness and um, Loki Season 1. Um, I think Loki Season 2 is better, but and writing-wise, I think that's... It's really complicated. I'm rewatching it. With my grandma. It's really confusing at the beginning to really like start to get into because it's like w- all these things. Like, like what's going on? Boom and like time, temporal radiation. What's Elias? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not in the second season. Elias in the first one? In the first season. I'm talking about the second season. Oh, second season. Yes. Because it's like a lot to wrap your brain around, but it's yeah. so good. It's good. Oh my gosh. Especially the finale, yes. And um, man, the finale just mm-hmm. chills every time. But um, he wrote. He didn't write that. Uh, I think this is a good thing, but I'm just curious who they get to write it. I really, really have a strong feeling that Sean Levy is going to be the one that's going to helm these two movies. Got to. And I know he's talked about it, mm-hmm. but I just really feel like this. He, he has a big, lot of big, big plate. To... Big plate to what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Big, sorry, I keep looking at my phone. We're like, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. A big, a big, big shoes to fill from uh, Russo Brothers with like, you know, it's like, this is, this is probably, go, this has to be bigger and better than Endgame and Infinity War. It has to be. Or at least at the same level, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd argue it has to be more intense and have higher stakes due to it involving multiple of our favorite Marvel heroes. And, you know, you know, when you have, and and you have to write all these characters where they have enough screen time as well as they feel right of this is what this character would do and should do. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't, I thank God I don't, we don't have that responsibility because we make it too good. Yeah. But for the public, to even, the public to even see, but um, it, it is very hard trying to make a movie on that big of a level. You got you got to do your homework, yeah, very much on this. And you know, whoever gets it, congratulations! And um, and that is it for the Marvel news. Um, there's a commercial that you guys need to see, so enjoy that. Place the Hulk into the rage cage. With a few pumps.
tops of the Hulk inflator, you can make the Hulk grow in size. Rip out of the shirt. And break out of the rage cage. The Hulk comes completely shown. Some assembly required from fun stuff. All right, we're back. DC News. We're going to start with the Watchmen Part 1 trailer. Um... It looked like a comic book. That's all I really, like comic, I don't really like, have much thought. I guess what if, if it looked better, I'd say. You sure? <laughs> I think it looks nicer than what if, in my personal opinion. Uh, I like everything about it besides the uh, the voice cast. Yeah. Of R- Rorschach specifically. It's just not not hitting with me as I wish it would. Um, I thought Jack Arrow Haley's voice is perfect. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. I need I need to just watch the movie. Maybe I'll get used to it. You know, I mean, we just not a coming of, to theaters. Not coming to theaters. Coming um, straight to digital. Like here soon. It's like next month. No, August. I think September. Yes, yeah, so I thought it was I think August. It's August. I think it's yeah, August. I, think it's I don't have the date, but I think it's August. Yeah, I'll look up the date. Um, um, I'll read the. I got the cast right here. Um, for you wondering, Kelly Hugh. I don't know who she's voicing. Katie Sackoff. So, um, she is uh. Uh, Bo Katan and the Mandalorian, um, the female with the red hair, the that Mandalorian. I don't know if you saw pictures. She's voicing Silk Spectre. Titus Welliver is Rorschach. Uh, Adrian Barbeau is the first Silk Spectre. Greg Griffin, Matthew Reese is Night Owl. Jeffrey Combs as Moloch. Sorry. Uh oh. Um, Troy Baker as Ozymandias, which is that interesting. Sounds about right. He's in everything. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal as Wally Weaver, which is that is Manhattan's like best friend. I don't even remember that guy. Is that, Phil Lamar's in this. Uh, by the way, the movie comes out a month from today. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's the thirteenth of August. Um, Jeff Pearson as Hollis Mason, Phil Lamar, Dwight Schultz, Michael Cerveris as Doctor Manhattan, Corey Burton as Captain Metropolis, um, Jason Spizik, John Marshall Jones, Rick D. Wasserman as the comedian. Max Scott, comedian sounded pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just simple. It, it's not too bad. I I'll, I'll see when the movie comes out. You know, um, it's parts one and two, so I wonder how they why they'll cut it off. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you, do you have like a um? Wait, what do you mean? Like, like where they where they're like cut the parts? Oh, the when they'll cut it. It's really hard to say. If I had to guess, because there's not really a moment where it feels like really a cliffhanger. I'm sure if I read the book again, I could find the moment. If I had to guess, it will be right after maybe the Manhattan backstory. Maybe. If I had to guess. It didn't show much. We can probably go off of what it didn't show. Mm-hmm. Well, then again, not maybe not. But, like, yeah. it kind of showed everything from bits of parts of the story. We saw him creating the place on Mars. Mm-hmm. We saw his origin. Yeah. Um. But we didn't see anything. We didn't see much Ozymandias. We don't see much Ozymandias. Really, he didn't really, really fall. He goes in like, you know, like, you see the part where it's the guy with the cyanide. I can't remember if that happens before or after um, the back the Manhattan backstory. I need to read the comic again so I can see. I'm sure I might find it and then I'll talk about it next episode. Um Yeah, I can't really point out. Either that, I'm assuming it's going to be when everyone's like at their lowest point. That means with Rorschach being in prison, Manhattan's on the moon, um, and that's also when you find out what happened with the comedian. Yeah, of like, you know, then uh, then you have a uh, Danny and Laurie like they're kind of at like you know they kind of just accepted the world's going to end kind of, and everyone's at their lowest point. I'm assuming it's going to be something like that. Okay. So probably probably run around the area when Rorschach gets put in prison. Well, it was a decent trailer. I mean, what would you rate? Uh, probably a. Th- it wasn't it wasn't a bad trailer, but I don't like stuff about it about the movie. So should I really judge the trailer by that? No, probably not. You know, I mean, I'd say the trailer's a four. You know, it got me excited and stuff, but I need to. I need to watch the whole movie to see how I really feel about the about the voice the voice yeah. cast because I'm not say what I want about Zack Snyder. I think I don't know if he was in charge of whoever it was. the The cast of the Watchmen movie is incredible. Yeah, every character I really feel like yes, they, they are ripped straight from the comic book. Yeah, 
So um okay. Next up here, I gotta make sure I got um the save. Okay, good. Um Arkham Asylum show. Article came out saying it was canceled. Mm-hmm. Um this article did not specifically say, and I'm gonna clear this up now. I mean that could be dead wrong. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this did not specifically say that the DCU version is canceled. We know that this is originally a Matt Reeves project. It was going to be in the Batman universe. And then um, now, and then James Gunn was like, it's now become a DCU project. And now it's like, oh, it's canceled. And everyone's like, oh, no, first DCU project get canceled. I'm like, well, I never really said that. Because if you go to the article, which I have right here, uh, I just got to pull it up. I have it back here. Boom. They said this in the original article. Um, in the article, they said this. As Variety exclusively reported in October 2022, Antonio Campos had come on board to serve as a writer and showrunner of the series, Arkham Asylum Show, which was originally meant to be set within the world of Matt Reeves' The Batman. But according to an individual with knowledge of the situation, Campos's version will no longer proceed. It is still possible, though, that a new project set within the infamous Gotham City Asylum could be developed in the future, the individual noted. He specifically says Campos was hired in 2022 to oversee the one for the Batman universe, to write it. And it says, they also said Campos' version will no longer, will not proceed. They never said that the DCU version will not proceed. Yeah. They said the, the Matt Reeves one is not a thing anymore. Yeah. Just confirmed. I think this is just serious miscommunication. And I, it's just like, James Gunn would have, himself would have said this. If it was canceled. Because he already announced it. So, um, I think it's just a the serious miscommunication thing. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what else really to like clear it up. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of weird. I'm like, I'm trying to, I had a like thought that I was going to say, but I've kind of lost it. Um, oh okay. yeah. And I plus I think, and you might agree with me on this. I think having an Arkham show in the same universe as the DCU Batman is a better idea than doing it in the Batman universe. I agree. I agree with that because completely. the Batman, he's newer. There's not many villains that you can have in the Arkham Asylum, yeah. you know. But in the DCU, this Batman already has Damian Wayne, mm-hmm. so he's probably met all of his villains. Yes, besides maybe a couple. Yeah. And so you have much more diversity in the storytelling that you can have in a DCU version, and tell the mythos and lore of Batman in the Go time room. that we haven't seen. Yes, in the yes. time that we haven't seen him. We up can, we can have like a cool, you know. Almost got him. Yeah. Type episode, exactly. you know. And like, we don't see. I imagine we don't see Batman through the whole thing. We see like a silhouette or some cool stuff, yeah. and they reveal him at the end. You reveal him what he looks like. Yeah. So yeah, I almost got Batman, yeah. and you give the history of like yeah, you, you know, get the you get to. I was get a new crook, and Batman was new at the time. Yeah. So you get the lore, <laughs> and you get like oh, and that's when he brought in that um, Nightwing. And that's when Red Hood showed up. Yeah. Batgirl and all this stuff. So that's how you build that up and leading into the Brave and the Bold, which I think is what they'll do, and I think it's smart. But um, I'm just going to go on a note and say that I don't think the show's canceled. Um, I it's, think it's, being, it's being heavily into a new direction. Yeah. Yes. Which I think is great. Yeah. And um, the Penguin, speaking of the Batman uh, universe, is now officially set to release on September 19th. That is the day, day after Agatha. We talked about that. Um, it is going to be an HBO original, not a Max original. Yeah. So it's going to air on HBO just like Lanterns will. Um, and I'm pretty sure I guess every DC show from now on yeah. will be on HBO and Max. I don't know if it'll be out on HBO a day earlier. Or um, Max the following week. Yeah, yeah and Max the next day. Um, or it could be at the same time. I'm not 100% sure. But um, there's that. According to Nexus Point News, Kumail, or Kumal, I think it's Kumal. Kamal Nanjiani is set to play Booster Gold in the DCU. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. You can. <laughs> Blue and gold right there. One of my favorite comic book covers. And it's... Um, I actually have, have it upside down. I just realized. Yeah. Um, oh, is it? oh, it is. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Um, Booster Gold is one of my favorite DCU, DC characters. And he's just never really get, been given a good... Um, a good run at it. Maybe Smallville was his best. Yeah. Um, Legends of Tomorrow, he was in it, but for like five seconds. Oh. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Kumal Nanjiani. What, this is a left-field casting for me. Yeah. Um, 
Definitely one when we made our kind of predictions or thoughts of who should play Booster Gold. Definitely wasn't in my radar, but he's not Glenn Powell. He's not Glenn Powell, no. But as soon as I saw, <laughs> as soon as I see the casting, I'm like, okay. He's got. I can see it. He's got the personality and the humor for it. And if we get the guy Ted Lasso's actor, uh, Jason Sudeikis, him back as Blue Beetle with that, I think that'd be a great yeah. team up. Um, I think they could work really well off I each think other. So. The um. It's interesting, the day before this got leaked, or not leaked, rumored, or Nexus Point News, their decent account, they get a lot of stuff right um, so far. They got a few things wrong, but they've apologized for it from their sources and all that. Yeah. Um, Kamala Nanjiani posted a um, thing when James Gunn said, Superman releases in theaters a year from today, the other day. Um, Kamala Nanjiani quote retweeted and said in with a period. But then he responded to it later and said, I meant in as in, like, I'm in to watch this movie, not in the movie. Mm. And we're like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> so we don't, I don't think he's in Superman, but I think um, I think that just adds on to it. He's following everyone from that cast. He's following James Oh, Gunn. God. Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. I mean, yeah, Booster Gold, Kamal, I think it's a decent casting. I'm interested. Um, him, what do you think of him with the writing of Danny McBride? <sighs> Danny, everything Danny McBride, as far as I know, has written or had some type of part of he is has been in the show. Um, Danny McBride's writing and his type of comedy is perfect for Booster Gold, and I think he could do a great Booster Gold. So it, you know, math serves me right. There you go. <laughs> it should work correctly. It should. <laughs> it should. It could end in a dumpster fire. And I'm wondering but... when this starts because if he's already cast, then I'm assuming production will begin next year. Yeah, beginning of next year, and it should be out. Or late, late. It should be year. out in twenty twenty six, around the time of Supergirl. Mm. But we will have to see. And speaking of super people, Superman has an editor, and this is kind of cool. I just want to talk about it. William Hoy is attached to be an editor on the movie. He has edited things such as The Batman, War for the Planet of the Apes, and Watchmen. Good stuff. And he's editing Superman. This is the guy who's going to be editing the twirl. <laughs> the spin. <laughs> it's good. All those movies have been edited to perfection. Yeah. I'm very excited. Um, which is pretty cool. I want to add that. Uh, Peacemaker had its first set photos. See um, see John Cena out there in a black outfit? Like yeah. A, like a, like, is it a button-up or is it like a suit? It's a button-up. It's a button-up. Um, he's out there. He looked kind of wet or sweaty. I can't tell. Yeah. There was a set video, uh, which I'll uh, show you now. Um, it was interesting. Let's see. Uh, Peacemaker Season 2. Season 2 set. Or not. Thanks. Alright. Um, let me see. Wait. You got... Um, Am I? Hold on. Sorry for one second. Um, yeah, so here it is. You have this, this image of um, him all wet looking or sweaty. Yeah. I can't tell. Uh, looks like he's got a new haircut. I made a joke with someone on Discord. It looked like he had a fade. Um, this looks like hardcore. Yeah. Uh, there was a set video, but I don't know... If I'll be able to find it. Um, it really only showed there was some kind of like explosion or something outside. They're filming in the same town that... Uh... Yeah, here it is. Stargirl filmed in. See, it looked like there's some kind of like explosion or something. I don't know. Anyway, hey, it's filming right now. I didn't realize. Um, yeah. They're filming in Georgia. Same town that um, Stargirl filmed in for its, for Blue Valley, which is where the JSA were based out of, which is making very, people very interested in why he chose a specific town, um, which could be a JSA crossover. But we'll have to see about that. All right. Um, speaking of San Diego Comic Con from earlier, confirmed Creature Commandos and Penguin will be there. Probably get a trailer for Creature Commandos, I would assume, or a teaser. Probably a teaser. Um... We got our first look at them. Looks pretty good. Um, 
Oh my god, Lin. I think we will see something Superman. Not like a trailer, obviously not, or anything, any footage, obviously. But I think we will see a new photo of the suit. Maybe. Like a teaser poster. Maybe. Um, I don't know. We do know Penguin will be there. They have the Iceberg Lounge. They actually opened up that website again. Um, really? If you remember from yes, the end I of the Batman, the El Rato Lotto, whatever. Mm -hmm. They opened it up again, and it's just like it's like a chat room. People can't chat in there, but it's like Riddler's people, and they're talking about something about to go down at the Iceberg Lounge. You get RSVP, and it's like you can get your tickets to go there, like in real life. That's cool. Um, I would have signed up, but obviously we can't go to California. So <laughs> well, I guess we, I mean, we can, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, one day I'll go to Comic Con though. Um, but yeah, Creature Commandos, the big thing. I'm excited for that. Let's see that. And then finally, Superman has had some uh, videos mainly. Um. Um, there's some. They've been filming fight scenes this week inside of a baseball stadium, which they've officially called the Lord Tech Field. Uh, more Lord Tech information. More. Uh, so I, he has some kind of big uh, presence. And look at all the look. Uh, Sorry. Look at all the trending. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, that's definitely crypto. I love the shot. Of them you circling the, uh, around. You see all the trending right here, by the way. Um, <laughs> there's crazy news happening. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I, like, I like how it's in that order too. Superman uh, being surrounded by engineer and who well, I assume is Ultraman, but like if it's not Ultraman, it could be a member of the um, Authority, or maybe it's Black Noir. If you also have this one, um, if you look here, there's a little like spin move he does. Um, gotta get off your phone. <laughs> sorry, excuse me. No, I'm just sorry. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, so you got his little like spin move. We saw. Um, he t hits Ultraman. Ultraman comes running. You get the. Oh yeah. I do that uh, anything. <laughs> so they're they're filming in this. This is Lord Field. Oh my gosh. They made it the entire baseball stadium as part. I guess this is the final fight. That's what I'm assuming. Of the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming. <laughs> a baseball field. Yeah. Um, engineer absolutely wrecking Superman. Um, I think they had a video of that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it was James Gunn and, Super James Gunn and Superman on the same image. Um, that's oh, wrong. dang. Mary Poppins, <laughs> y'all. Uh, ah, ah. uh, hey. That's me when I go to work, man. <laughs> yeah, Superman in a hole. Um... You get some cool little images here of him with um coming out of the hole and walking away. Uh this is when he fell. Is the big explode like the dust and everything flying everywhere. Didn't it some Snyder Look how fan? cool this looks, by the way. Just Metropolis in general. Like a good vibe here. All like retro looking colors. Uh, but like Modern cars. I don't. It's interesting. You know, I think it's crazy. Do you know, like someone get injured on set? Like they like they didn't break their foot, but like sprained their ankle a bit. Yeah, and the Snyder fan yeah. was like, like they had a, clearly they were doesn't. filming on a bridge, and um, one of the bikers he just like fell over. Car. Yeah, and they tried to like say like yeah, just as bad as Alec Baldwin or something like. Oh my that. Gosh, and it's like ugh, I hate it, um, but. Yeah, I was trying to see if, um, yeah, there's this. They were filming. Like a dragon. Yes, like a they were dragon. like dragging him. And they also do that with um, Mr. Terrific as well at one point. Oh, Terrific's out there as well? Um, yeah, he's out there fighting with Super. But there's a scene Engineer takes Mr. Terrific, and I don't know where to find that. I guess I could look up DC. DC. If I, well, maybe spell it right. Um. Film news. Uh, showdown at the Lord Tech Field. This was today's, right? Yeah. Um, hold on. There was a picture of him in a stunt double doing the Spider Man point. Yeah. Uh, James Gunn. This was the spinning video. Yeah. I love to be on that thing, man. Just spin me like crazy. <laughs> um,. I'm going to find the one 
The video. Yeah, the engine. <laughs> it's beaten off. That sounds fun as I can get out. Um, I want to find the one for Terrific. I want to say it's... Um, gosh, I don't know where it's at. I want to find it. Is it this? Mr. Terrific Mr. is there, but I don't think this is the scene I was talking about. They're flying. Um, what the scene was... It, this is it, I think. No, yes. I don't know. It, uh... But from what it was, it was Engineer grabbing Mr. Terrific. He had his like, jetpack on, and she goes and she slams him into the ground. The point Mr. Terrific's like, splayed out, and the jetpack is like broke. Mm -hmm. And so he gets pretty much wrecked in this, um, which is interesting. Also Penguin poster. But yeah, Superman, they're filming. They finished filming soon. Next thing they're doing, it's filming at a place that we assume is the Hall of Justice in Ohio, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's the end of the DC news though. Very, very good. All right, moving on to other oh, real quick. Yep. We're going to review the boys season four, episode seven of episode before the finale. Yep. Peak. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, very good episode. I think my favorite so far. Yeah. Um, it's a little Christmas episode. Kinda. It is a nice little well, it's, holidays. It, it's like beginning and ends really Christmas themed. Um, a lot of twists and turns with this episode. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know really to say much about it. I mean, I, I don't have much to say about. It. I'll just go a little, a little bit of story beats here and there. But um, this one was very good. This one had me jumping out of the out of the couch. Uh, yeah, the whole times. the fight in the um, yeah, iron the fight, the reveals, fly, fly and just questioning like, dude, what are they going to do yeah. now? You know, uh, you got a train officially revealed as like, oh, he's the leak. Like, Everyone found out, and he leaves, cuts his comms off, yeah. and or or a tag, so they can't track him. Um, Homelander is apparently very devastated. By yeah, it. I don't know if he's just pulling. I think he's. I think he's just so messed up that he's just like devastated. Yeah, even though he's really not. Mm. Um, Ryan having his second thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, Butcher. They try to make the virus. They're making forcing that doctor to make it. He sticks it in Kimiko at one point. Yeah, and you get that crazy scene where they cut her leg off. Yeah, um, I, I, there's times I completely forget her leg is like she could just grow back. Yeah. And I'm just like, no. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, they just killed her off like right here. <laughs> um, I am gonna make a prediction though. Next episode, A-Train's dead. He's I'm going to make a prediction and say he's not going to die. You don't think so? Nope. I think he's off to Belize. He'll be back next season. I think I think he's coming back. I think he's going to die. Because someone's going to you think assassinate Butcher, the president. I think Butcher might. If he does die, I think Butcher will kill him. No, I, think, I think what they're going to do... Because Butcher doesn't really know. I mean, he does, but like he's not. he doesn't like it. Yeah, I know, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, I think he barely likes Starlight on the team. Yeah, um, so you get all that. You get the shapeshifter thing. Crazy. I, yeah. I think that's the most, probably the most unique and interesting way I've seen someone do shapeshifting in a hot minute. Yeah, <laughs> just tearing the skin off, and it's like Ugh. it's like a chameleon. And yeah. it turns out at the end that she's Starlight. She's took over Starlight, and now they have a and the, the shapeshifter is the shooter, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy now, right yeah. now yeah. in this moment of time. But um, <laughs> there's a shooter that's trying to take out the president mm. in the show, and they're setting that up. That'll probably be the next episode. Assassination Run is what's called. Yeah. Uh, and the, it's still out there, and it's Starlight. So Starlight's got information um, on something on that computer, um, which is interesting. There's just a lot going on. I mean, the Deep and Noir. The Deep kills his octopus lover, <laughs> um, which was kind of. That's sad. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. And I remember, I I saw a clip of it today. It's like how how you know it was one of like how come he didn't cry during the Titanic? Yeah, boys not have feelings, and it showed like a yeah. Chad like looked That's dark, it. and it showed the deep killing yeah. his girlfriend. Um, gosh, and it's I don't know. It's just a really good episode all around. Mother's Milk has a lot of really good scenes. There's a scene between him and A Train in his apartment. Yeah, you got me kind of in tears. I'll be honest. It, it was just like it's like man, it, the acting in this is so good, mm -hmm. and the scenes with Butcher. I can't remember Jeffrey D. Morgan's character. Kessler. Name. Kessler. 
It's some of the best scenes, I'd say, out of the yeah, entire The way series. he, like, shows up, now that we know he's not real, the way he kind of just shows it's up. It's, like, genius. It's like, he kind of just, like, comes into frame from where Butcher is. Mm-hmm. It's like he's a part of him. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Kind of like uh, Joker was with Arkham yeah. Knight. Yes. Um, I mean, overall, it's just a really good episode. Next, I mean, next episode's going to do a lot to set up the ending of the show next season. Um... Oh, I can't get over what, he, what he's talking about in the last. He's like, "What you could see her <laughs> in his voice? What well, you could see her? You uh, could see her? Um, no, I remember you. <laughs> oh my gosh! But it's going to be a crazy week next week. Yeah. This is a really good episode. I honestly would probably say it's a nine point five. Not nine point five. Yeah, I I'm on same thing with you. That was great. Um. More I think about it, I don't know if I really cared for last week's that much. I know we kind of rated it high, but Which I, one was last week's. That was um, Tech Night. Oh, that episode was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, but it was more. I thought it was just okay. Now, because the more I was thinking, I was like, yeah, it was all right. I wanted again. I want more out of it than um, not that I was like I want to well, see more. Crochet, he's though. dead. Yeah, he's not dead. He, he's coming back in the finale. I feel like I feel like my big prediction finale is that Soldier Boy will show up. I just feel like that's how you like, because then he's on both sides. So like, what do you? Is he going to take the side of his own son, or is he going to take the side of um, Butcher and them? Yeah, I, what I will say is but he hated his son. So like, what? my my big prediction before the finale is A Train will die. It's called hit. It's called. You think one of the boys? You think one of the boys will die? The season ends and they're like lowest point ever. Usually, do that does usually happen before a the final season. That so, who usually... do you think could die? Frenchie? Sacrifice himself for something? For Kimiko? Oh, Kimiko wouldn't die. Well, yeah. See, yeah, he's a... So... What uh, happens who, when a human gets the soup virus? Who, who is very much on the table right now? Mother's Milk? <laughs> Mother, uh, mother's Milk. Because you look at, look at people in this episode of who had very strong emotional scenes. Kimiko and Frenchie. Mother's Milk. And Butcher. A-Train. And Butcher. And Butcher's already dying. Granted, Huey Huey already had it with his dad dying, but he was not Starlight are fine. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, Starlight's they're up the table. trapped somewhere. So yeah, Starlight's trapped. Somewhere. There's also that weird scene at the end when she's trapped and it shows her. You hear a creak, like a door. Open. Yeah, like a door open. And she like looks. So who is like, that? And she looks scared. You think that's Homelander? Well, they did. They did hire her. So and they know where. I wouldn't be surprised because you do hear a door creak. She looks and she looks terrified. Yeah. Of who's there. Um, Unless it's Soldier Boy. And he's working with Homelander. He's no working with... It. That, that, I feel like if it was Soldier Boy, they would have... I can't help but feel like they would have showed it there. I think... It was, I don't know. And then and it cut it. Like, oh, crap, he's alive. Or like and Black Noir. Well, Black Noir's hurt. Him and Deep. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. It could be... It could be anyone. Yeah, but um, next week's going to be crazy. Someone will die, though. Yeah. My my money's on A Train because okay, I, mean, I hope we, it's not. We, we call it assassination role. run. Yeah. See that that's just kidding, and I think he's just going to like I'm gonna sacrifice myself so they can have more time before the president. I just hope dies. it's not Mother's Milk because that's just gonna break my heart. It, it's just gonna, it's gonna as soon so as he's sad. just like I gotta protect my family, and that's all he's wanting, and he's gonna end up dying because of it. Yeah, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that was a nine point five and a nine point five from yeah. you. For the boys, episode, season four, episode seven, episode eight, finale next week. We'll be watching gaming. <sighs> moment, let's, give me a moment. Let me collect my thoughts here. I'll go ahead and say it. <laughs> they announce season two. They're like, oh, one more week. I'm like, oh, let's or go. less than a week. It was like, it announced like a Saturday? Yeah, they, I don't remember when they announced it. It was supposed to be coming out on Thursday, this past Thursday. I was like, oh, let's go. Streaming this weekend. <laughs> they announce like three <laughs> days later, three day, two days before the season was to come out. Yeah, uh, we're going to delay it to the twenty fifth. Two weeks. Something must have happened. I don't know why they had to have found a bug so bad that they had, could not release it. In it, the it, 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 it like something to wipe and, everyone's data. And maybe it wasn't something bad because it is a skeleton crew working on the game. So maybe it was just a bit much for them to have to work on. And I'm fine with it if it's. I wonder if it was with the Amazon thing. As too. long as it's just, it just went free on Amazon. Yeah. And I wonder if like give they're like, some time. oh, give people some time to play through this and the joke. And hate it. And then not play it and let yeah. real fans stay. Um, 
But I mean, if they, if they can be better, then I'll wait. All four. Yeah. Let them cook. Um. Let but cook. It's, it's unfortunate. Let them cook yeah. this grilled cheese real quick. It's unfortunate that it's taking so long. Mm-hmm. Um. But there's that. Yeah. But um, you know, as long as it comes out, poly- I better not see you. I mean, there's gonna be bugs, but there better not be nothing game breaking. I if I had to guess, it had to have been something to like wipe your data or something because it uh, it must have been because it wasn't like a simple oh he, this guy will sometimes clip through. Yeah, they something. definitely play tested and found something bad. He found he found something bad. Maybe it leaked your IP you address. Delay it two weeks and not like a day or leaked something. Leaked your IP address or something. Yeah, <laughs> Marvel's Adventures. Yeah. Hello. Um, there's that. Marvel Fortnite is something that we're gonna be talking about a lot more in the coming weeks. Yeah. Um, they just released a Weapon X skin, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been playing. I got Magneto and all his stuff. I love really his cool. glider. Yeah, the steps. Um, yes. He's got a cool emote, too. Um, it's where he, like, pulls a gun towards him and he dismantles it. And, fr- like, and oh, really? he looks at it and he kind of just tosses it. Uh, and you get, you have, there's three different versions of him that you can get. Mm-hmm. There's his Wastelander outfit, which is him kind of, like, got the brown cape and yeah. a bunch of, like, armor on and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then there's a ver- the same version, but he's got, like, this weird mask thing on, on underneath his oh, helmet. Oh, yes, yes. And I then agree. there's the classic comic book version. Which is, what which is the one I've been using. That's the one I want, yeah. yeah it's really good. How do, you get, do you just buy it? Or it's you have to have the battle pass and it's the secret bonus skin or whatever. The, okay. So you get challenges to unlock them after. So I want to spend like $90. <laughs> no. I don't play for it. You just have to spend $10 and then do his challenges. Oh, and I can just get him? Yeah. He's like the secret character? Yeah, or? he's the bonus character. He's so the bo- everyone can so get I just him. gotta do his challenges. Yeah. Okay. But so I, they are a little difficult. Like like what? Like what I mean, he's talking? got to deal a bunch of damage and block shots with his mythic. He's a mythic in the game. That's like you can. He have a shield where he like blocks bullets, and he's got another one where he picks up a giant ball of metal, and throws. It. You have to deal damage with that, block a certain number, like two hundred shots, and um, there's a few other things you can go around the map and do stuff. You remember in the Marvel original Marvel season, the Tony Stark um, like like oh, radar radars yes, that were around yes. the map? They're starting to pop up again. Um, but it seems like next season is going to be Fantastic Four and some mutants versus, I think, Doctor Doom and Galactus. That's going to be good. Galactus is apparently coming back. So, okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm hearing. I know that there was the leaker that said stuff about Final Fantasy VII. He's also the person who said Magneto would be coming to the game and um, a few other characters. And, like, three or four of those characters... From the, that list, have come to the game now. Yeah, I need my FF set. That's coming. I don't know why. It's happening. You think it's gonna be a season or is that no. gonna be a? This will be a collab. But from based off this, I'll go ahead now. and could probably say Sue Storm's gonna be in the battle pass. Sue Storm. Um, oh, Sue Storm. Yes, yes. yes. I, was about, I was thinking about just Storm. I was like, no. Sorry, um, Deadpool and Wolverine movie collab Maybe, should be yeah. the secret skin of the season. Yeah. Probably not both. Maybe a combination of both. It could be a variant like a Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah, it, it'll be a. It'll, it'll, it'll be their movie suits. That's yeah. what's going to be. Um, and then. Um, I'm pretty sure Cyclops should be in it. And there will be a few other characters. We've Colossus. had all the X Men besides. Colossus is another one, I'm yes. pretty sure. Jean Grey, we haven't gotten. Yeah. We have? Yeah. Well, we have a version of her. I think, well, I think we have both. Phoenix. Phoenix. Dark Phoenix and you're right. Her. Yes. You're I'm right. Sure. Okay. But, um, that's. Coming up, I'll keep you updated as it um, comes out. I guess I'll be streaming Fortnite. Um, does that? And then finally, the final piece of news: um, Evo is happening. I don't know when. I believe the twenty sixth of this month. This one, Deadpool comes out. Oh, look. Um, but Marvel's Capcom might be there. It is there. Gotcha. Um, July nineteenth. So oh, okay, that's okay. in. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, it's from July 19th, that Friday, to July 21st, and that's a Sunday. Okay. Um, so, Marvel's Capcom is going to be there. NetherRealm is going to be there with their um, year two year two for um, Mortal Kombat 1. They're showing off the Combat Pack 2, which we already know of. Deathstroke, Harley Quinn going to be in it. Um, and some other characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we'll probably see them. We, um, our, I know we earlier... Our first setup, possibly, of Injustice 3. Because these are injustice characters. They are injustice. We'll we'll see. Um, I know they, there was rumors of them. I know there I was ta- mo- there was talks of them working on a Marvel fighting game at one point. I think it's just there was, there was talks at one point. Whether that fell through, we don't know. I think it did. I, I would love if they did somehow did a Marvel versus DC game. Yeah. 
Injustice 2 gear style, I think it would be incredible. I mean, I'd spend so much money on that game, it, it, you would have no idea. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we talked earlier how NBCs are there. It's going to be, you know, the three games you can play. They'll probably announce a release date. Um, shadow dropping, I don't think is likely. Because if they shadow dropped it, they, I don't think they would have really demos. Well, I don't know. I mean, they could do both, but I just can't see them like, oh, yeah, it's out now. I think and, Multiverse is going to show up at Evo. I wonder if it was. Um, maybe. I can't. I know the Battle Pass ends in nine days. So I wonder if they'll announce something there. Could. I wonder uh, if they announce something there and then by here's a brand new Battle Pass. Agent Smith comes out that following Tuesday. Officially, if you don't get them early, which I, I think I'm just going to give up on. <laughs> that, that, those things are so hard to do. It's it's um, it's crazy. But, yeah. I mean, there's some possibilities to see some stuff. We'll talk about it, though, um, next week, I guess. Yeah. Um, or maybe not, because we'll be recording next Saturday. So, we'll see. But, with that being said, that will be the end of the news for the week. Um, and we'll go ahead and get ready to get out of here. Yep. So, thank you all so much for joining us for this week. Uh, talk about a lot of stuff. Trailer reviews. Boys review next week the finale and however many other trailers they feel like throwing at us um definitely go check out our x-men 97 deadpool 2 review it'll be out on wednesday that following wednesday after seeing this um what x-men 97 deadpool that's 2. not what i said yeah, it's just what you said x-men <laughs> you, mayhem you did that during the pizza thing too i don't know why x-men mayhem episode it's that, 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 shirt, episode. that shirt you're wearing it is, it is it's corrupting me um it's also a fun thing in there we're reviewing the four DiGiorno Deadpool Wolverine pizzas. And it's a fun little um, side thing. We're yeah. Doing. And that might be out as its own separate thing and connected as well in the Deadpool yeah. 2 episode. Might, might be doing maybe for more food things. You know. Yeah, we'll so, see. Throw so Spider-Man on a Popsicle. Oh, we'll, maybe we shall review it. Um, But, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D-A-R-I-E-N-H-4404. Or Instagram at the burrito underscore official. Facebook at the Come Burrito, call an official page, or Twitter at the CB Burrito. You can contact me at Spider underscore Landon on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Very interactive on all platforms. Come on over and let's uh, celebrate some more MVC on the way to Evo. There you go. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya. Excelsior!